Hi, this video will show you how to use the SMP Capital IQ plugin to install the SMP Global Data using Microsoft Excel like this. Without further ado, let's start. Right, so first to download the SMP Capital IQ plugin, you have to log in to your Capital IQ page. Okay, at the home page over here, on the left hand side, there's a download button. There's a download uh, for you. So click on it, and uh, it will link you to the uh, interface where you can download the Office plugin over here. So click on it, and it will download to your uh, laptop or PC. So uh, I've already downloaded, so I'll just give it. Okay, once you have downloaded the plugin, okay, uh, make sure you install it. And right after you install, you will have the plugin in your Excel over here. Okay, so at the top over here, you can see uh, there's a SMP Capital IQ tab, right? So it means that uh, the plugin has been successfully installed. Before we download the data, we need to call a list of firms that we are looking for. So in order to do that, we have to go back to the SMP Capital IQ website. Choose the screening bar over here and click on companies. Let's say I'm looking for a list of US listed firms. So what I do is I'll go to the exchange over here. Select major US exchange and add the criteria. So over here it will show you the sample firm around 7,000. Uh, not the sample, I think it's the full number of firms uh, listed in the major US exchange. So then I click on view results. So the next step is click on this save as new screen button over here. And just uh, name. Name it as a UX exchange, major UX exchange, and save it. Okay, so you have been saved, your screen has been saved. Click OK, and now you can go back to your Excel over here. Click on the screening button over here, and it will show you a list of screening that you have saved okay, inside the system just now. So just click on OK, okay, select the screening that you have saved and click OK. Once you have uh, completed the loading, it will call out all the firms okay, in your Excel. So in total, we have 7,148 firms. So now comes to the downloading part. If let's say I want to download a company name, ISIN, and total asset, just need to go to the formula builder button from here, click on it, and it will pop up a window. And here you have many tabs on top of it, financial, estimates, market data, and so on. So these are the categories that are grouped by the SMP Capital IQ. So you can see that under the financial tab, there are many folders which already help us to group every data items that belongs to a specific category. So you can see that there's an income statement folder. When you double click on it, it will show you every items that, uh, every common items that uh, usually you know, are stated in the income statement. So if let's say we're looking for company name, then we can go to the company info tab and double click on the general folder and select company name. But before we double click on the company name, you need to go to the identifier and cell column over here select cell and click on the space and then select the first company in your list so here the first company is the flws so i just click on this cell and you will see that in the empty space over here it will show you the b3 cell which indicates my first company in my excel okay the next thing you need to do is double click on the company name and it will show you the formula to call out to download the company name company okay so the next thing i need to download is the isin code so if you are not sure which tab or which folder that the isin code belongs to you can simply go to the data item keyword space over here click on the space 
and type ISIN and it will show you every data item that contains the alphabet of ISIN. So this issue IS, ISIN is, is the one that I'm looking for and I just click on this. Okay, and then just double click on the issue ISIN and it will show me the formula okay uh, after the company name okay the next data that i wish to download is the total asset again go to the data item keywords i click uh, i type total asset click on it okay for total asset you can choose which year that we wish to download and before that before you select the year remember to select absolute period and then choose the year that you're looking for for example 2019 and add formula click on this add formula so that it will show you the formula okay, after the ISRN okay before you click apply click on the empty cell below the company names so that it will call out the data accordingly you know the company name then right after the company name it will show you the ISIN code and total asset so click apply and close the pop-up window it will show you the company name ISIN code and the total asset so the next thing you need to do is just drag down all this formula and it will automatically download the data for you. That's all for the video. Thank you for watching. If you think this video is helpful, make sure to give me a like and share it to your friends and students. Bye for now.